I'm here at the legislature building here in Winnipeg where in 1991 there was a peace village set up and I'm here with one of the original warriors, Philip Holmes. Can you tell me a little bit what it's like to be here again just 27 years later? Is it that long? Yeah. It's been that long. Uh, well, 27 years ago I was uh, a lot younger, um, I was a lot thinner and I uh, was asked by the four native elders that were here in Peace Village if I wanted to be security at Peace Village and look, o look after the food and look after the people that were tenting and camping here for uh, support for the indigenous rights in Oka, Quebec and the land deal that was supposed to be going down with Oka. And we were here for a number of months until Oka surrendered I think in September 1991, or September, October, I can't remember, it was such a long time ago. But it was quite a harrowing experience being asked to be a, a warrior and uh, here today it's, it's such an incredible experience having uh, this happen again 27 years later, um, especially when it comes to child and family services rights with children being in care. Two of my daughters are in care uh, since 2003, and uh, I had to come down on Monday because of uh, Tina Fontaine, uh, because my daughter, my eldest daughter, she's in care and she's 15 years of age, and her name is Michelle. And uh, one of the biggest reasons I came down here was because of my kids in CFS care and for support. The support, this incredible village that is behind us right now and, and there needs to be more support to come down here and not just like and share and hit the happy face on Facebook and Twitter and there needs to be hands-on community to come down here as a whole for this kind of support and I understand there's support in Canada right across Canada you said the Absolutely. villages? Absolutely so how does that make you feel hearing that there's small villages that are popping up across Canada right now who are really supporting what's happening here in Manitoba? So it's um, Again, it's indigenous support. It's, it's um, our, indige our indigenous lives are important. Our rights are important. And uh, having hearing the, the camaraderie that's coming across Canada with these villages is, is quite a moving experience that uh, we can get the word out, um, not just by social media or by the camera, but by word of mouth as well and saying that we need to have more support down here. It's more support across Canada. Absolutely. And so seeing how this is being done, you're seeing people coming forward. What is the next step? What do you think needs to be done next in order to make a real change? Uh, well, laws, laws in, not just in Manitoba, laws in Canada and Manitoba in general itself have to change. Um, there needs to be more Indigenous people with PhDs, is, is my feeling. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much. So if you want to support, come down to the Legislature Building, bring food, bring a conversation, and just come try to learn. Don't just share on social media. Get down here. For RRC-TV, I'm Mel Hansen.